hello everybody. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the protocol EIGRP. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, four terms in EIGRP that a lot, lot of people don't understand. Uh, the feasible distance, the reported distance, distance, the successor and the feasible successor. All these four terms are tied together, you know. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go to this diagram up here. You see in this diagram up here I have three routers. I have router one, I have router two, and I have router three. And uh, if you look at uh, this diagram, uh, you have uh, I have a serial link between uh, router one and router three, and I have uh, a fast internet connection between router one and router two. And uh, my main focus is going to be on network A up here. So let's say you see up here, let's say router, all these routers uh, are running EIGRP. And router 1 has uh, network A. You know, it can reach network A through router 2, it can reach network A through router 3. So uh, uh, what I'm going to explain up here is about the the feasible distance and the reported distance. Uh, the definition, a simple definition uh, about the feasible distance is the metric for the route uh, uh, from router 1 through router 2. Like let's say uh, if EIGRP is running on these three routers, uh, we're going to know that router 1 will uh, choose uh, the route that goes through router 2 over the, the one uh, through router 3. Because the reason why is this uh, 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 this link is up here is faster than than, uh, than this link up here. So router one will choose router two as uh, as the best path, you know. And the metric from router one uh, through uh, network A that's going to be what we call the feasible distance. That's what we call the FD, you know. And this route uh, this route that goes through router 3 is going to be a backup route and this backup route up here uh, is going to be uh, 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 I mean uh, this is going to be called the feasible successor you know and uh, wha uh, the reported distance is the metric from router 2 to, to get to network A so so what I'm going to say is uh, the reported distance is uh, the metric from uh, uh, from the next half router you know like uh, let's say that we are on router one so what I'm going to clear right now is the feasible distance is the metric from router one to get to a network uh, like uh, for this example network, network A and the, uh, the reported distance is the metric from uh, uh, the metric uh, uh, from router to perspective to get to network A, you know. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go up here and uh, I'm going to explain it to you right now. So I'm going to put it up here so you can. Uh, okay, up here. So this is the the FD. This is the FD, you know. That's the FD, and this is the this is the AD, you know. Let me tap it up here. And this is the this is the RD. You know, reported distance. You know, so you have to keep those in mind. You know, so uh, from router, uh, so the when we're talking about feasible distance and reported distance, uh, we are talking about a route. So for this route, this route gonna have uh, from router one perspective is gonna have a feasible distance, which is gonna be the metric, and a reported distance, which is gonna be the metric of the next hub router from the network, uh, from the the network they try to reach. You know.
like in this, in this example network A, network A. And uh, for this route, uh, through route 3, the feasible distance is going to be the metric from route 1 to get to network A, and the reported distance is going to be, uh, uh, the reported distance is going to be uh, up here, uh, the, the metric from route 3 to get to network A. You know. And the reason why I am trying to spend some time to explain you that a lot of people don't understand what is, uh, what is the feasible distance, what is the report distance. And let me, uh, not something, uh, let me tell you something about the report distance. The report distance, sometimes if you go to some document, uh, documentation, they say, they call it uh, advertised distance. But the, the concept is still the same, you know. Uh, reported distance or ad advertised distance, the concept is the same, is the, is the same, you know. If you see uh, those two, uh, those two uh, in, in, a, in a book, don't, don't, don't panic, you know, it's the same. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to GNS3 because I have GNS3 up here, set up up here. And uh, I just replicate what I have in this diagram up here. So that's what I replicate in GNS3. So I already, uh, I already assigned the IP address and stuff like that because I'm going to go right now quickly to the configuration of EIGRP. I think you guys know how to do the configuration, but I'm going to quickly do the configuration. So I'm going to start with uh, router one here. I'm going to go to router one. And I'm going to do uh, uh, conf t to go to global configuration. And I'm going to do uh, router TIGRP. TIGRP. And the uh, autonomous system number is going to be 100 for this example. You know. And I'm going to do network. Network 192 dot 168 dot uh, 0 dot 0. So I want to turn all the interface. So I, I want to just like uh, uh, make it uh, just for one command, you know, to, to turn the interface on for EIGRP, so I'm going to use the wildcard bit, you know, uh, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to do 0.0.255.255, zero dot zero dot, uh, two five five dot two five five. and that's it, you know, so I'm going to go to route 2 right now and do the same thing, and one more thing I'm, I'm going to tell you is, always do the no auto, auto you know, to turn the auto, auto summarization off. For this example, it doesn't matter, but just uh, if you are using a uh, different, different, you know, IP address scheme, you know. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go to router 2. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do uh, config T. And I'm going to do uh, router TIGRP. Uh, and the autonomous system number is going to be 100. And I'm going to do network, network uh, 192.168.0.0.0.255.255 for the wildcard loop. And that's it. So uh, you see, I have a NIGB relationship between uh, router 1 and router 2 right now. So uh, the last route is going to be route 3. Let's go quickly and uh, do uh, config t. And uh, we're going to do route EIGRP. EIGRP. Random system number is 100. And network uh, uh, 192.168.0.0. Wildcard bit is going to be .0 that 255, that 255, 255, and, uh, and that's it, you know, and I have a neighbor's relationship form over here, you know, and uh, what I'm going to do right now is, uh, uh, I'm going to go up here, and uh, I'm going to go to router, because the focus up here is going to be router 1, you know, router 1, you should have two paths, to get to network A up here, to get to this uh, network up here, the 192.168.1.0. That was uh, our example in this diagram up here, network A. So, uh, uh, 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and check the, the routing table for uh, for router one. Let's do uh, some show command up here. And I'm going to do show IP route. Show IP route. Quickly. Okay. And show IP route up here is going to show us like, uh, you see up here, I have, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, I have 192.168.1.0 uh, uh, Okay, I have uh, I have this route up here, you know, and you see what I was telling you is gonna it's gonna pick up route two as uh, uh, That uh, it's gonna pick up the path that go to route two as the best path for this uh, For this network up here 192.168.1.0 since the router, router one I are directly connected to those two network, those two networks, so uh, it doesn't really matter. You know, we're gonna focus on this network up here. And so, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna do one more command to see the the other route. The other route is gonna be on the not on the routing table, but it's gonna be on the topology table. So we're gonna do show uh, IP PIDRP topology. And it's going to show us, you see, this is what I was trying to tell you up here. It's going to show us uh, up here. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's uh, make this thing a little bit, little bit bigger. So you see up here, I have, uh, it's a one successor, you know. So this, go, this uh, the, the successor is going to be the route through route two, you know, up here. And you see, and uh, you see up here, this is the metric. The the thirty that's uh, seven twenty, that's the metric, and uh, that's what they what we call what they call the the FD. You see up here, the FD is thirty seven twenty, and the twenty eight one sixty, that's the the advertised distance. I mean the reported distance. That's the metric uh, uh, for round two perspective. You know. So let's go to router two and uh, do the ver verification, you know. So we're gonna do go. Let's go to router two, and we're gonna do uh, uh, show IP PIDRP topology topology. So we're gonna do that. And you see up here for for this network, you see that's what I was telling you. Just do the comparison. You see up here for this router up here, this network he is directly router to router two is directly connected to to this network up here, one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot two dot zero. So up here you see it say the FD is twenty eight. You see, let me copy this thing. The FD is twenty eight. Uh, 160 and for this router up here you see up here let me move this thing, this thing a little bit you see up here it say the fd uh, the fd the fd you see up here is 3720 but the a the the, the reported distance is right here you see up here so that's what i was trying to show you you know I, th I think you you guys you guys see what I what I'm trying to tell you you know, and you see up here, the FD, in this case the FD and the AD is uh, and the and the uh, uh, and the RD the reported distance is the same because the router is directly connected, you know, <laughs> it doesn't have a next hub you know to get to the to the destination uh, to the to that network. So I I hope you guys understand the feasible distance and the reported distance. That's the difference you know. And let me tell you something. We're gonna go right now to this uh, presentation up here, and we're gonna we're gonna look about the successor and the and the feasible successor. The successor and the the successor uh, in in some uh, uh, to uh, to resume uh, uh, like to give you a, a a simple definition. The successor is the best route. That's what I can say. Like the best route to get to, to get to network A is through route two. So this path up here, I mean, uh, this path up here, this uh, path up here is going to be what we call this, the, 
the uh, the uh, successor, the successor, uh, something like that. And this one is going to call the feasible successor. So in order to, in, but in order there is a, there is there is a condition, there is a condition for this one to become a, a feasible successor, for this one to become, for this one to become a feasible successor. Uh, I mean, uh, the feasible distance for this one have to be lower than the AAD, the reported distance. Let me show you up here. Let me move it up here. Like the feasible distance for this route has to be, uh, no, I mean the reported distance. Uh, the, the, uh, the The reported distance, the reported distance up here for this route has to be lower than this feasible distance, you know? What I can say is, this RD up here has to be in, in some way like, uh, has to be, uh, to be lower, to be lower, to be lower than the FD up here, you know? You know? And uh, the, the RD I'm talking about is the RD up here, you know, for this uh, for this back about. So if this RD, is, if this RD is not lower than the feasible distance, it, does, it doesn't matter. It, this, route, it, this route is not, not going to be a feasible, uh, a feasible successor. It's not, go it's not going to be a back about. So you have to keep that in mind. So, uh, this, uh, if this, uh, uh, this uh, reported distance on this backup route is not lower than the feasible distance on the best route, for the best route, I mean the successor, this route is not going to be a feasible successor. I mean it's not going to be a backup route. So just keep in mind that a feasible successor is a backup route and a successor is, is the best route. Is the route is that, that's going to be in, on the routing table. So that's why, what I was trying to uh, to give uh, you know to explain it to you so i hope you guys understand those two terms you know those four terms so uh just uh, that was uh, i think that was it for this video that's what i was trying to explain to you feasible distance reported distance successor and feasible successor the feasible distance and the report distance they are metrics successor and feasible successor they are routes you know the feasible the successor is the best route that's going to be on the routing table. The feasible successor is going to be the backup route that's going to be on the, on the topology table. And uh, the feasible, success, feasible distance is the metric for, for, the, for the successor. And the reported distance is the metric for the next hub route that uh, are advertising the network. So that's, uh, that was it for this. I think that was it for this video. And I hope you guys... Uh, uh, learn something from this and I hope uh, and I uh, thank you for watching this video and I see you for the next one.